at 6, there is now another confirmed case of coronavirus in our state, bringing the total to four people with that virus. Governor Mike DeWine is saying, and the Ohio Department of Health saying this is the first case of community spread. And 2 News reporter Devro Bogart live in the newsroom with new information. This new patient is a 53-year-old man in Stark County. Today, Governor DeWine and the Ohio Department of Health Director Dr. Amy Acton say this community spread was expected, but it does move Ohio to a new phase of this health crisis, and government orders based off of the recommendations he made yesterday are forthcoming. Now, Dr. Acton says this new patient had no history of travel outside the U.S. and no known contact of someone else with COVID-19. This patient is hospitalized and local health authorities in Stark County are investigating a large number of his contacts. Acton says the onset of his illness was February 25, 2020. The other three patients, all in Cuyahoga County, are still in isolation at home. DeWine also saying he plans to issue an order in, in the next few days regarding mass gatherings, which includes sporting events. This will impact the first four, which will likely be played in front of an empty UD arena next week. I was asked the specific question uh, about the NCAA and the play-in. Uh, what I meant to say, uh, if I didn't, uh, is that we do not, the order will be that there cannot be spectators there. There will, certainly will be people, uh, there, there will be TV people, there can be radio people there, there can be sports writers, uh, there can, certainly can be the media there, uh, but we're not going to have the large crowd. Ohio Public Health Director Amy Acton will also be issuing an order later today in regards to nursing home changes. There are currently 24 people under investigation and Acton says there will be more cases in Ohio. She also says that, will be, that there will be hard months ahead with social disruption. But for you to know by taking these precautionary actions, they will make a difference. Reporting live in the newsroom, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.